boost of Crash's jet board and really feel the suck when you vacuum as Dingo Dial. Looking to get fully immersed in the Crash Bandicoot universe? Crank it up to 11 and take your audio into an all new dimension with enhanced 3D audio. Achieving the infamous 106% completion is the sign of a true Bandicoot master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way? Leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress and hit your goals for things like time trials, flashback levels, and boss fights. And boss. I bet Entropy wishes he had that. Even bring your incomplete save over from the PlayStation 4 and use the activity cards to get to 106%. Oh, right. and one more Elder Ring boys, you own Elder the PS4 Ring. version of the game. Oh, I forgot the my, upgrade uh, option is available. Check board. out the PlayStation blog for full details. Whether it's your first playthrough or your hundredth, there's no better time for to experience six, Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Don't know how much this means five. to me. I sit here in my mom's basement all day every day praying we can bid the Junkers. I have no other purpose in life, Sebastian. You are ruining me. I just said, holy shit. I'm edging you, man. That's what I'm doing. First, let's check out the latest on an eagerly anticipated game coming to the PS5 console this spring from PlayStation Studios. Oh, is it this? Hey, um, everyone. We at Housemark are excited to give Kojibo you this game. sneak peek at Returnal. In Returnal, you will play as Selene, an Astra Scout, who crash lands on an alien planet, Atropos, after receiving a mysterious signal, White Shadow. Players will explore this inscrutable, dark planet in search for answers and unfold mysteries, which may point to a larger force at play. Dashing and quickly maneuvering your way above and around enemies is key to survival in return. It's third person, dude. With the large variety of enemies and the vast number of unique movesets each possess, combat situations prove challenging no matter what the circumstances are. Death is only the beginning. Oh, it's a roadblock. Every time you die and restart, the world will change. The map will be different, enemies will appear in new locations and in differing numbers, so you have to think fast and adapt. The environment. Here you can see the use of the lightning alt fire, which is great for crowd control. This is one of many alt fires that you can require in the game. Crowd control. What do they think crowd control means? You will stumble across mysterious devices that can grant rewards to the player. These will vary from weapons, consumables, and upgrades, and they can completely change your playstyle and make each cycle feel unique. Besides the intense combat, Returnal yeah, also like has a deep Rishka and Frey. engaging narrative. I don't we like allow Rishka players Frey to piece together the puzzle that is the that story much. of Selene as they venture deeper and deeper into Atropos and into her personal nightmare. That's... That can't be here. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but not fully. They're corroded. Some parts are missing, others seem manufactured. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was losing my mind. <sighs> There's no comfort here. No safe space. No safe space. We have plenty of safe spaces on my own Twitch. Come on out. Exactly as I left it. That house looks exactly like the mission in Call of Duty. The stealth mission. Returnal lands on April 30th, and it's developed by the talented team at Housemark. Next, let's take a closer look at a high-impact new PS4 game called Knockout City. Dodgeball. Hi, I'm Josh from Bellin Studios. We're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City. 
a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores right, with epic right. dodgeball battles. I'm down. I'm down. Knockout City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 face-off mode, you'll go head-to-head -head in a constantly shrinking battleground relying on your reflexes and Battle abilities Royale to knock out an opponent. A well-timed catch powers up the ball, making it easier to land a hit. Use trick shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. Fake a throw to mess up your opponent's timing and knock them out before they can recover. When you're in a tough spot with a ball flying your way, a last-second dodge is the difference between getting knocked out and staying in the fight. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring home a win. Let's jump into Team KO, our 3v3 mode. Teamwork makes fun. a dream work in Knockout City. Be fun for life. If your crew is outmatched, a well-coordinated team can still dominate. We're playing in Back Alley Brawl, a new map that you'll find in our upcoming crossplay beta. The special ball for this match is the Sniper Ball, which locks onto targets from far across the map and wham! You can take them out before they have a chance to react. Beyond special balls, each map features a unique mechanic. In Back Alley Brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway or use them to sneak up on your opponents. Caught empty-handed? You can literally become the ball, a new weapon for your teammate. What a baller. Or risk it all. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, and they'll land in a huge instant KO explosion. The team here at Valen has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. Knockout City is coming out May 21st, and we'd love your help in our final stretch of development. Rally your crew and sign up for our crossplay beta at knockoutcity.com to play early on PlayStation. See you soon, brawlers. Time for something new. Here's your first look at an upcoming PS5 game from the team at Slow Clap. Gameplay capture on PS5, cinematic on PC. Mm -hmm. Dude, what movie is this? Oh boy, yeah. I was just, I was thinking, I've seen this movie. That was the debut of Sifu, coming to the PS5 console later this year. Now let's get an update on Solar Ash, an epic new PS5 adventure from Heart Machine. What, what, what was it called? Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston, creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, I'm here oh. to show you the first peek at gameplay for our new title, well, Solar Ash. Well, they have one successful game in their back, even though I haven't played it. Solar Ash is a huge, very good. stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. The game is set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Boy, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her home world. Ray is extremely agile, Dude, this looks speed exactly across like the world with abilities akin to skating. On the ashen clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. At its core, Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. So it's a uh, ice skating 
simulator. Walk me simulator. As it's you like, journey to save your wait, planet, what? you'll find Why? yourself face to face Didn't with they just make, like, violent a fucking creatures. scuffed bow. Our combat system is simple, Walking fast, simulator. and fun, built to empower players and encourage flow. As you now explore the ultra, skating. enemy encounters will scale to greater and greater sizes. Who asked for this? Some of these creatures require speed and for precise this. timing to defeat. Someone must have asked for this, otherwise they wouldn't be fucking pumping these games out. Ray will eventually need to face the massive sentinels of this void. Wretched, starved beasts that hold Dark the key to your quest. It's gotta be one. Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and the high stakes battles atop enormous beasts all come together to bring players something we think is incredibly unique, and more importantly, fun. This game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. I don't know, man. I'm very skeptical. If you're a fan of scary games, this yeah. next one is for you. What, Resident Evil? Again? Can't when I first found you, you were nothing. You were small, pathetic. But now, you are more. Are you ready? Five Nights at Freddy's or what? Gregory, we can get you out of here. You and me, together. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. Oh, you can actually move in this one. We have to get you out by morning. Just walk through the door. You will do as I say! You will bring me what I want, and if you fail me, then you will, both of you, burn! There's more going on here than you realize. That was actually plenty of this, dude. If even. That was actually like the worst That abyss. was a chilling new look at Five Nights I've at Freddy's seen. Security Breach. Up next, let's take a tour of Oddworld Soulstorm. Soulstorm. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director at Oddworld Inhabitants. Today, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? Said. In Soulstorm, you reprise the role of Abe, accidental hero turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution, as you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. <laughs> We really wanted to bring this world to life with what we call 2.9D platforming, which adds much more depth and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel any, Ape's uh, heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. I don't situation. have any connection to this game. I had like a free There demo. are well over 1,000 fellow Mudokans that you must try really to save along this. the way. 
but they are Three far more one. than helpless Let's workers came with like a magazine or something. When used effectively, Remember you'll those? be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. And there will be times when the extra hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find and end Abe once and for all. In order to stand a chance against this much larger threat, we gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pickpocket items from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. You can also play as a non-lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. But there is one iconic ability for our shamanic protagonist, possession. This mystical power allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. The Oddworld universe is a diverse place and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought, patience and stealth. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites and ancient forgotten lands. Here we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle things. It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough, there are also more dangers in the forms of natural obstacles, ancient traps, trials against swarming dark creatures, and industrial hazards that must be dodged, crossed, and avoided. Ultimately, Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full of lies, and we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before. In true Oddworld fashion, your actions in-game will decide the fate of Abe and all those you manage to liberate along the way. And we can't wait to see what you will do. Genocide run. It looks exactly like the Star Wars film. That was the latest on Oddworld Soulstorm. And here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost, starting in April. Moving on, it's time to catch up with Kina Bridge of Spirits, a gorgeous new adventure we last saw on the June PS5 showcase. You can tell by the picture it's gonna be shit. <laughs> can already tell, man. Lose to say what thing with the tier 2 19 months. Keep up the good shit, Force. You too, man. Thank you, sir. Unturn goes to Prime, OZ says, and Eraser. Thank you, dudes. Welcome back. Ember Lab. Oh my god. The rocks are quite fun to me. They're usually timid. What's with this FPS? Like, why can't they show proper trailers? Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Our village is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power faded. Must 
must move on. There's a little love. Uh, I can't tell if this is like uh, Dark Souls for children or if this is more like Zelda. I mean, their cinematics aren't like bad, but the gameplay looks kind of. So the spirit guide is the only one. August 24th. Now let's settle in for a stylish new look at Deathloop. I'll be dead a PS5 by then. first person shooter developed by the team at Arcane. I thought it was What? You'll never ever break this loop. There's no never here. Just you, me, and the rest of these maniacs. <laughs> Every time you see a trailer in this break, game, baby. they change Ooh. the concept. This is Ramblin' Frank's matinee. This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Colt, the visionaries are ready to dance. Are you? Toxic illusion. Falling deeper Well, that looks like oh, well, that looks like Minecraft. Well, that looks like oh, well, that looks like yeah. Holy fucking shit! Will you shut the fuck up, Forsen? I'm trying to watch this conference. So fucking unlucky. That looks like a James Bond trailer. Intro. Dishonor ripoff. Yes, it's the same guys. Where you been hiding? Boy, do I got a bone to pick with you. Let's do it again tomorrow. Kill is always new. Song's over, people. And so is Ramblin' Frank. The rest of you motherfuckers are next. Next, Chad. Before we leave, how about I mean, could a be good. huge update for one of 2020's most celebrated games? Elder Yes. A touching reunion. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. My name is 
you see. Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Lord. government will prove to our common enemy. Optional that character forced upon you. With. Members of Avalanche, we got this. I'm back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonan Kasakabe. Where's Cloud? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. They're the ones who blew up Wait, the how did they pump this out so fast? Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, you gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle! Hmm? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> we gotta help. <laughs> Or maybe this is just a... They're planning. You're better off out of it. They deserve what's coming to them. Yeah, they do. But I'm not your sister. Yeah. There you are. Who are these jerks? No clue. They just what? appeared. Now, let the hunt begin. I'm not your sister. Get down here, Bert. Photoshop in the light. <laughs> that probably looks really weird if you don't know, if you haven't played. It's still weird, I guess. Shit! Wait, they have normal classic?
comes the reveal of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, coming to the PS5 console later this year. Is that year. American or is that European? 0610. And that's our show. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come in 2021. See you next time. Wait, that was all. Son, I am disappointed. What? What about the fucking Kojimbo space game from fucking New York? Times New Times New Square shit. So a lot of teasers of game we haven't seen. That was that was trash. That was actually trash. Not one game got me hyped. I was expecting some first time footage of something. Minus 30 minutes. Yeah, fucking minus 30 minutes in brain damage. But we can save it. We pause the run. We pause the fucking bastion run at 13.53. Remember that. So we have roughly 10 minutes to get into the end.